It's always fun to talk with the storytellers and then sharing it. Arrow.net. A-R-R-O-E dot net. All right, let's do it. Let's play it forward. Real people, real stories, the struggle to play it forward. Episode number 491 is with actors Simone Missick and Wilson Bethel from All Rise on OWN. Hi, Arrow. What's up, Arrow? Hello, and good morning, you two. See, you know, in radio, you can turn off the screens. You can kick back and relax, just like she said. So, you know, let's get some sweet tea going on here. It's the summer of 2022. Yes. Oh, my God. I've not heard that phrase uttered summer of 2022. (laughs) Hey, congratulations on on this new season of All Rise. I mean, this is the perfect ripe time because we're all in love with court scenes now. We've been watching one for the past few months now. I know, right? Uh, this, (laughs) This season is, I think, very indicative of some of the court cases that we've seen play out. Uh, in the media, especially in the past few weeks. And so it feels like our show continues to be timely. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's great to be able to really uh, reflect some of the things that are going on in the media and going on in everyone's households when when they turn on their TV, both to watch the news and to watch our show. Um, And I mean, one of the most impactful things that I think has happened is the appointment of Ketanji Brown Jackson as the Supreme Court Justice that happened in the middle of our filming. And we get to actually reflect that on screen. And and it's just, it's such a a great show to be able to represent what's going on in our lives. So Wilson, when you're, when you're in with a, with a group of people like this, that really don't mind, you know, putting reality inside the storylines and stuff like that, that's gotta be a great step for you. Almost like live theater. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things that's really special about the show is how deep um, the, the the writers and the producers' uh, ear is to the ground and to the pulse of what's going on in our world and in our country today. Um, obviously, the, the legal system is a, a, a very, you know, acute representation of a lot of things that are happening in very meaningful ways um, on a day-to-day basis, and we get to explore all of those things, and we get to do it with a cast that uh, to your theater reference just happens to be very deep uh, represented by some some like phenomenal theater and, and uh, type actors. So no, the, the, the environment is um, is one that really does feel very responsive in real time. And of course, then just the energy on set has that that kind of energy to it. Now, Simone, being at the head of the uh, the creation and stuff like that, there, I, I would love to hear the ticking inside your head in the way because you give us plenty of time to digest the story, create the emotion, and then and then we get involved with what's going on with each character. That's perfect timing. Yeah, you know, I think it's a testament to our amazing writers, uh, led by our showrunner D. Harris Lawrence. They craft these stories uh, for us to play out every week that just hit all the right notes. Um, Our show loves to walk that fine line between drama and comedy. So we can literally have you gripped in one moment with fear or uh, excitement and then laugh in the next. I think it's a rarity on television, you know, to be able to play characters that explore those kinds of uh, emotional leaps. And, you know, I think we have just a great amount of collaborators who make sure that this, that every week, every episode stays fresh and exciting for our fans. What is it like for you, Wilson, in the way that when you go out there on the public street, people are probably calling you by your name on the TV show and not necessarily, Hey Wilson, what's up, dude? Uh, this may come as a shock to you, but most people still actually call me Wilson. <laughs> really? That, that's beautiful. That's got, that's got to change then. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I don't think I'm famous enough for that, for, for that other reality to be. <laughs> uh, I would say weeks go by where not a single person on the street uh, notices me as anybody other than, but the guy who goes grocery shopping near them. Uh, but occasionally it does happen and it's always a thrill. <laughs> One of the, one of the things I, I was blessed with the opportunity to talk with some people that that were in the, in the court in in uh, in Virginia and stuff like that, and they said that people don't understand the length of, uh, of of an actual court case. I and I said, you have you been watching All Rise because they understand it. They understand it's not going to be over within five minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think that that is one of the things that. Um, 
has often surprised people is that court cases can take weeks, sometimes months. Um, our show likes to explain, you know, we yes. already have the prelim. We already had, you know, this this set of uh, parameters that we played out. And so they get to see the height of a court case happen in real time. But um, it's amazing that for a lot of a lot of people, these things drag on for weeks and months and sometimes years in litigation. Now, Wilson, when when you're involved with a great show like this and you're teamed up with Simone, this has got to be inspiring for you either as a writer or as a future director. Are you finding yourself growing in that direction? Uh, as a matter of fact, I am. And, and uh, just finished directing my first episode of the show um, about six weeks ago, uh, which was some new territory for me. Um, and, of course, just an absolute honor and joy working with Simone and the rest of the cast in a, in a different role and different capacity. Um, and certainly moving moving forward, both on the show and, and in the rest of my career, um, I think that's, that's very much where I have my eye. I, I love directing um, and basically just bossing people around, and, and they don't have a choice but to listen to me. Simone, as a radio person, I don't listen to music like a normal person because music is everywhere we go. What about you as, as a director? Do, do you look at life ever through the eyes of innocent eyes, such as those that are just picking up you know, the show on the television? I, as as an actor, definitely do not watch television like a normal uh, wa- viewer, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, my family is always like, man, you can't just enjoy it. And I'm looking and I'm like, oh, my God, they have, you know, they still have the tape on the door from when that was craft services over in that window. Um, so, no, unfortunately, I don't, you know, just, but I think with with really great TV and with really great uh, movies, I can just let it take me where it takes me. And I honestly, I was binging our show because it's now running on OWN. They're showing all the old episodes. And I was like, you know what? If I wasn't on this show, I would still watch the show. It's very entertaining. So I at least have that level of separation. Well, for the two of you, like I, like I mentioned before, you know, for the past couple of months, we've been sitting here binge watching court shows. Yeah, we're, we, we don't have our fix right now, but we do. It's all rise on OWN. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, please tune into the new season. Absolutely. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is going to be open for both of you anytime. Just walk right in. Thank uh, you. Thank you. You be brilliant today, you two. You too. Yeah, thank you, you too. so much.